But we begin tonight with the case of convicted drug smuggler Carol Schrubeck. The Czech Republic is soon to launch efforts to extradite him. It's the latest twist in a messy controversy for which the blame is being sheeted in all directions. Here's our political reporter Craig McCulloch. Carol Schrobeck is a wanted man in the Czech Republic and they want him back pronto. As Justice Ministry has issued a statement to local media saying it will lodge an extradition request as soon as possible. Interpol is a truly global organisation working to turn back crime. Schrobeck has a checkered past. He entered New Zealand on a false passport in 2003 and is now in prison for importing five kilos of MDMA with a street value of $375,000. But Interpol states he's wanted in his home country, charged with disorderly conduct, damaging property and attacking a police officer. The Czech ministry says it had been holding off requesting extradition, having been advised by New Zealand it would be quicker to wait for him to be deported. It says that no longer looks possible, given the immigration minister has granted Schrobeck residency. The case now becoming a serious headache for the Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. From what I've seen, this hasn't been good enough. The government has been under fire over the matter. The Immigration Minister, Ian Lees Galloway, won't explain why he decided to let Schrobeck stay here, citing privacy and legal reasons. He also declined to be interviewed on Checkpoint. Yesterday, though, he launched an investigation into the case, saying he'd learnt new allegations which could change his decision. Jacinda Ardern continuing to back him. Obviously he had certain information put in front of him uh, and now we have contradictory information in the public domain. Of course that's not good enough. Uh, he's gone back to his department and is working through those issues and we've agreed that needs to happen quickly and we need to hear a response quickly. The opposition wants the immigration minister's head. The national MP Michael Woodhouse says Mr Lees Galloway alone is responsible. It's an inexplicable decision and it shows he's not up to the job. But a former minister, Tuariki Dalamir, says there's plenty of blame to go around. It should never have been on his desk in the first place. Jonathan Coleman should have deported him in 2009 when the passport was discovered to be fake. So I don't know how he stayed that one. And then Nathan Guy should have deported him when he was charged, and so should have Woodhouse. The National Party disputes that. Mr Woodhouse says it never came across his or any other national minister's desk. And he says there was no chance for them to deport Schrobeck earlier because he'd been arrested on other crimes. He created victims in New Zealand and they have a right for those charges to be prosecuted. It wasn't possible, and Immigration New Zealand have made this very clear, it wasn't possible to present a file to the Minister of the Day until that process had completed. When it was, the Minister was Ian Lees Galloway. Immigration officials are also under the pump. Tuariki Dalamir says the entire case smacks of incompetence. I actually think the Minister would do well to actually enlarge the inquiry into the whole department because there is so much that's wrong at the moment. Similar musings too from an Immigration Minister Alistair McClymont. What I see every day is immigration officials hiding information from the Minister and putting barriers up between people who want to put information to the Minister and they're prevented from doing so. So from my point of view, this is not particularly surprising that these sorts of mistakes remain because they happen every day. Look, if that turns out to be the case, we would absolutely need to rectify that and get to the bottom of that. For me, it's about resolving this particular issue and then seeing if there was a systemic issue at play. Immigration New Zealand outright rejects the claims. It says it regularly updates the Minister on a range of matters. In this case, it says officials provided Mr Lees Galloway with all the relevant information they had at the time. The department's review into the whole shimozzle could take as long as three weeks, and that's three weeks longer than the government would like. Atu iti whari parimata mō te hōtaka o te ahiahi, ko Craig McCulloch after six tonight, we'll speak to former Immigration Minister Michael Woodhouse, who has called for Mr Lees Galloway to resign. He'll be with us live.